Sushma Smriti Mehra, Love Marriage from India. Love Marriage from India, Sushma Smriti Mehra. What a beautiful day to talk about love marriage. Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Happy Thank Valentine's you. Day. I'm audible, right? Check, one, two, check. Yeah. Right? Yes. Okay. The idea behind, or the basic principle behind the love marriage is if I have to crack my head, I should use <coughs> that stone of my choice and not of others. <laughs> Contest Chair, Distinguished Judges, and Fellow Toastmasters. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I am Nitin Mehra from Rajasthan, India. You already started judging me. That guy from the land of dowry and child marriages talking about love marriage? Yes. Back in my country, getting married at the perfect time is considered as the best marriage. Both of you made for each other, met at the perfect time. Actually, I think Indian parents want their children to get married at the perfect time is like their retirement plan. <laughs> Back in our country, uh, love before marriage is not allowed. It was some changes that are happening in development. Because of the development in India, now we are allowed to love before marriage. Thanks to Sri Sri Sharukh Khanji. <laughs> because of him, when he entered the Bollywood with his arms wide open, Indian parents started believing in love marriages. Actually not. Don't let that excite you. Because Indian parents will have a say in every decision their children takes. Like me, I used to ask my parents, Dad, Mom, can I go and play playstations? No. Go play cricket. I feel that. I ask them, can I do my engineering in IT? No. Go for electronics. After I have completed my engineering in electronics, few years later, they said, IT would have been a better option for you. <laughs> Seriously? So, when you tell them about this big thing, love marriage, the first reply that you get is a silent stare. A silent stare that means how dare you talk about your love affair in front of us. After a few minutes they realize this is 22nd century <laughs> and things are changing. Actually not. The first trademark question that every Indian parent has is, is the girl from the same community? How many Indian parents are here who want their children to get married in the same community? <laughs> See, do you have answers? Can you answer why? <laughs> no. Same as with my parents. They also never had an answer for this. So, before taking my wife to meet my parents, I've taken few demo pieces home. <laughs> And every time, my mom said no. She's small, she's tall, she has a dark complexion. Her left eyebrow is not symmetrical to the right eyebrow. I said, seriously? Eyebrows? So I started looking for a girl who looks exactly like my mother. Height, weight, complexion, and not to forget, eyebrows. And finally, I found her. So I took her home, and guess what? This time, my dad said no. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, when I met the love of my life, I took her home, and my parents were happy because she had symmetrical eyebrows, and she was not looking like my mother. Actually, my mother is good looking. You can see, I'm <laughs> But change is good, right? After getting approval at my place, we went to the girl's place. And it's a totally different ball game. My in-laws considered their daughter as their greatest gift. And while sitting there, I can feel that I have come to a place to steal something. 
my father in law is a wrestler mm. and from his questions i can feel the punches on my face <laughs> cut short few months and after sailing through some family drama we finally got married on our marriage day it unexpectedly started raining it was like before we could understand anything it was raining cats and dogs before we can understand anything i thought that this is the god's way of saying hey nidhar i granted you the love marriage you want now what will you do with the love marriage contestant